Cool fronts came through the area this afternoon along with it around of some generally light rain showers. That boundary and the showers have both now moved on and some cooler air has been filtering in. 46 is the, <clears throat> excuse me, is the current temperature. Now as we look at this current conditions page, a couple things jump out of you. Mostly cloudy skies, west wind at 14 miles an hour and a dew point value of 40. We're going to need to clear out the clouds. We're going to need to drop the wind speeds and the dew point in order to get some patchy frost to develop. So right now there are a lot of limiting X factors that may argue against much in the way of frost developing overnight. Six in Cranberry right now, 49 in Churchill, 47 in Bethel Park and still 50 in Bell Vernon. As we take a look at some other neighborhood temps, 46 in Butler, 48 West Mifflin as well as Latrobe. Still over the next several hours should work our way down into the upper 30s at the very least. So again, speed will be uh, uh, determining whether or not we see some patchy frost. The blue shaded areas where the frost advisory is in effect are perhaps some of the locations that could see patchy frost. And I think the best chance is going to be in some sheltered, protected valleys where wind speeds are usually a little bit less. We're not looking for widespread frost, rather patchy or isolated at this point. First thing in the morning, a chilly one at the bus stop. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s by noon 47 and our high temperature 52 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies through the afternoon. So a real good looking day tomorrow. Here's satellite and radar. We get toward the end of the loop. Moisture is gone. And you can start to see some clearing taking place in northeastern Ohio. Not so much locally. It's probably going to take another couple of hours. So the longer we hang on to that blanket of clouds, that's going to prevent the temperature from dropping off too far too fast. As we get toward maybe 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's when the clouds should begin to break up and then making way for sunshine first thing tomorrow morning and through the day tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies, a dry day from start until finish. As we head through the next 48 hours, our dominant weather feature is going to be high pressure, at least in the next 24 as we get into the day on Wednesday. There's a secondary front that's going to be scooting by to our north. We'll get a glance enforcing shot of some cooler air, but the limited moisture it has could stir up a couple of showers as you get up, maybe closer to Lake Erie. Locally, I think it's going to stay dry. There may be just a period of some extra clouds in the afternoon and again, or we'll reinforce the cooler air for the remainder of the work week. Here's the way temperatures will play out Wednesday in the morning, closer to 40 degrees, so not as chilly as it will be, say, tomorrow morning. And then the afternoon numbers will come up around 50. 51 degrees and we'll stay in that range really low mid 50s through the end of the week even into the start of the weekend so a cool stretch ahead 36 tonight clearing possible late partial clearing some patchy frost tomorrow the high temperature 52 mostly sunny skies on wednesday a few more clouds around in the afternoon 50 the high back to more sunshine thursday 50 degrees increased clouds friday afternoon 55 and our next chance to see a few showers until Saturday.